Hello friends, I'm back with little penguins today. Snowflakes. Many snowflakes. Winter is coming. And what do you see in winters? Snowflakes. Sledge. The snow house, what is it called? Igloo. Mittens, many mittens. They are all lying here. All of them have worn mittens of different colors and matching scarves. Yellow, blue, 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 and red. All five of them have mittens and matching scarves. Socks. One for each foot. What about boots? Red ones. So, how's the snow? Let's see. Deep. What do we use this sledge for? Going from one place to another. Is it? Reminding you of Christmas time. Deep, deeper, very deep. Snow is deep, deeper and very deep. And they are all dressed up in their scarves and mittens and boots. Ready to face winters. Where is Mama? On her way. She's on her way. Now let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So here is Mama. Brrr, let's go home. Mama is taking all of them back to home. In the door and off, 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 off. Jamie's on. Warm cookies, please. She's warming cookies in the oven. And sippies. Thank you. Mama is giving them warm drinks and warm cookies. Wrap up tight. Watch the night. And story ends. What all can we do with this book? So dear friends, we can do a lot of exercises based on this book as you must have already guessed. What is the first thing what that comes to your mind? Seasons. Whenever you have to introduce seasons to small children in your classroom, pick up a beautiful story and read along. Read with them, express them, show them mittens, show them scarves, show them boots, talk about all of them and have a dressing up day. They can all dress up in their winter clothing and then read the story and they can relate it very well with what we are reading. First thing, you talk about the clothes that we wear during winters. Winters, Then the kind of food that we eat, warm cookies, warm sippy drinks, soups, hot beverages. Then third day, we can also talk about the kind of weather outside. Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is it sunny? So there is a weather day. We can read poems, we can read, we can draw, we can write. Then all these things that we have discussed there can be a word web and they can create a story based on winter season. So one full week is dedicated to winters. Next week can be summers and then monsoons and autumn and spring. That's how we introduce it can be either way. You, I have taken a book on winters, you can take a book on summers or spring or autumn, whichever book story you find or you come across. This is a beautiful way of introducing seasons. Now that you have discussed seasons, what else can be done? This is how we can talk about one and many. One mitten, many mittens. One snowflake, many snowflakes. One sock, one pair for each of the foot. Then also they have talked about igloos, 
So all this vocabulary is built around winter season. Children will understand and they can create a whole board on winters. When we talk about it, we create a word web, we create a story on winters, they can narrate their own experiences. There is a whole lot of atmosphere around winters. Now, if we go to higher classes, we can also talk degrees of comparison as we have talked about deep, deeper, very deep. So this is how you can introduce second concept. Now, third one, if we are taking it to maths, there can be numbers. If they have, there are five people have five scarves and five boots and five this, how many in total or whatever number, whichever way you want to add or subtract or you can make it into problem sums. This is the way the one story can be integrated into different subjects. Now again, creating a model of igloo, creating scarves, creating boots, everything around, they can hang those socks like around if we do it around Christmas, they can make those socks, Santa socks, so whichever way you want to make it, uh, whichever way you want to create it, whichever way you want to make it more colorful and bright. Second thing that today I want to talk about is it's the same story. Many uh, people have been asking about the levels. It is up to, purely up to the teacher's creativity, which level she can take her story to. Let's say if I have to do the same story with class 4, grade 4 students or 5 students, I will talk about adaptations here. What are the different adaptations that penguins do? Where do they live? So I can have a quiz. Let's read some questions on it. Penguins are found in the wild, in the southern hemisphere. You can also, when while talking about the seasons, you can say if in southern hemisphere it's winters, what is the weather on the other side of the hemisphere? Also talking about how seasons happen. First question, penguins are found in the wild in the southern hemisphere. True or false? Can penguins drink salty sea water? Who played the penguin in the 1989 movie Batman Returns? Who is the second in command to skipper in Penguins of Madagascar? Fifth question, everybody loves Pingu. But what was the name of the sea? He was friends with, last question I'm asking, Oliver Jeffers wrote a popular children's book about a penguin who finds himself on the wrong side of the world. But what was it called? You can answer these questions in the message box. You can also send your queries to me. You can uh, send what whichever stories you want to hear. I am thankful to all my friends, all the people who are subscribing, sending their beautiful comments, encouraging me. This is Indu Kunj. Uh, many people have asked me, is storytelling my main profession? No. If you are new to my channel, I will introduce myself again. I've been an educator for 22 years. I have taught in DPS International for 14 years. I worked with an NGO called Katha for a year as director teacher training. Rest of the time I was with Air Force School for two and a half years as a academic coordinator and college vice principal. Then I have been with Kendriya Vidyalaya for eight months and Venkateshwar International for a year. So I have worked across different boards, IDCSC and CBSE. I'm also a trained counselor. That's why in most of my stories, I do emphasize the need to uh, take care of emotions, mental health, feelings. Always try to begin your class by asking how are you feeling today? Are you excited to be here? So it is a way of connecting with your students to uh, have a have an idea how they are feeling. Taking care of emotions and mental health right from the beginning is very, very important. Thank you for watching me, for uh, subscribing and liking my channel. Keep watching. This is Indupun signing off. Goodbye.